Good morning, my friends. What up? What gets you going? This is Len Mooney. This is Coffee with Len. Coming to you from my deck. Coming to you from my deck. Overlooking the beautiful Pacific Ocean. Up here, I'm here in Baja Norte, Northern Baja, California. What gets you motivated? It's Monday morning. What gets you out of it on Monday morning? You know, we talked about this a little bit last week. One of the statistically, one of the highest heart attack rates times of the week is early Monday morning. People getting up, doing something they don't like to do. People who are feeling really stressed about their life and just don't like what they're going on Monday morning and what they're doing about it. I saw a post yesterday from a friend of mine. In fact, Lisa Kidder. I saw a post from a friend of hers whose husband had worked very hard all of his life, and he died at a very young age, 58 years old. They never got to do any of the things, any of the things they wanted to do. But he was up every Monday morning chasing that elusive dream. We're taught that things are important. Things are not important. Those aren't the things that count. You know, I'm going to give you a, give you a little quote this morning from... Uh, Once again, from Jack Canfield, The Success Principles, chapter 39, stay focused on your core genius. That comes from Malcolm Forbes. Success follows doing what you want to do. What you want to do, there is no other way to be successful. From Jack Canfield, I believe you have inside you a core genius, some one thing that you love to do and do so well that you hardly feel like charging for it. It's effortless for you and a whole lot of fun. And if you could make money doing it, you'd make it your lifetime's work. Can you figure out a way to structure your life around things you love to do? Can you figure out a way to get out of bed every morning with enthusiasm because you you know you're going to do what you love to do? Today, is it's laid out for you. It's perfect. It's wonderful. You're not being dragged kicking and screaming someplace you go, don't want to go to do something you don't want to do for somebody you don't want to do it for. Life's too, it's too, too short for that. And that kind of stress is what drives many people to an early grave. They've worked hard all of their life. And if they survive the first heart attack, if they survive it, then they spend all of their money that they worked all those years to make to get their health back so that they can enjoy some of the older years of their life. And so now they end up hopefully with some reasonable health, but no money. I mean, there's a better way to do it. There has to be. Now, I also do not see anybody on here this morning. So this may once again be one of those days where you're probably there. You're probably making comments, but I don't see you. So nothing's showing up on my screen. So Facebook, once again, Facebook, what are you doing to us? What's going on here? Why is this happening? But so Betty, Chip, Joe, Tamara, et cetera, Linda, uh, who else has been coming on? Um, Anyhow, if I've missed you, I'm sorry. I don't see any comments. So... Here's the thing. It's Monday morning. What gets you going? And if the things that get you out of bed are drudgery and dread, going someplace you don't want to go, doing something you don't want to do, it's time to begin to consider how to restructure your life so that it's more fun. Because without more fun, your body's stressed. If your body's stressed, you're going down. It's not designed to handle that kind of stress day in and day out. Your body simply isn't designed. Your body's designed for short-term fight-or-flight stress, not long-term sustained day-after-day stress. It just isn't. Hey, that's all I have for you today. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. I hope somebody's there. Again, I can't decide. I'll find out as soon as I stop the live and go back to my, my profile. All the comments will pop up. So I'm assuming you're there. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. As usual, I intend to be happy. I hope you do too. It's a choice. And remember, 
be compassion. And we'll talk again tomorrow. Bye for now. Oh, coffee with lamb. And don't forget to go to my website, lemmooney.com. Oh, I see. Wait a minute. There come all the comments. They suddenly all flashed onto the screen all at once. There are people. Let's see who I can see. I can see Betty. I can see Joe. I see Tamara. I see, I see Betty. I see your comments. What gets, what gets us going? Wow, lots of things. The excitement of what the day brings, helping people in any way I can, loving and encouraging my grandkids. What I will learn today. So many things. Good for you. I'm here. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't miss you. Betty, I love you. Thank you so much. So there we go. There were some people out there all, all the time. I knew it probably were there, but they just you just didn't show up. You suddenly showed up. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Tamara. Tamara's here with coffee. There you go. Suzanne, Susanna, good morning. How are you? Are you done moving? And uh, where's Chippers this morning? Oh, I don't. I miss Chip. Any rate, gosh, I don't know how much of what I of my ramblings you heard, but. I hope you heard some of it. Anyhow, I'm glad you're here. I hope you're going to have a wonderful, marvelous, happy, fun-filled, magnificent day. And I hope you're going to be compassionate because the world sure needs that. And we'll talk again tomorrow. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye for now.